little outdoors break from the computer here because the sun is out, thankfully. Want to talk about um, acceleration of global sea level rise because of increasing melt of, of land ice globally. I've been comparing the, the steepness of the curves of sea level rise in the two most recent decades when we have the highest quality uh, measurements of land ice mass change. And in the case of Greenland, the decade from 2006 to 2017 versus the previous decade, there is an increase in the steepness by a factor of 1.72. Over the, that past two decades, uh, Antarctica is about a quarter of the global rise, but comparing the, the first and the second decades, the Antarctic contribution goes up by a factor of four. However, we have to be really careful because when the slope is near zero, you can have, you know, going from zero to any slope is, is an infinite increase. So that's why it, it, it's troublesome to, to try to measure uh, the doubling times. Nonetheless, that, that first decade for Antarctica, it wasn't all that flat. The basic message is the global land ice contribution to sea level is accelerating. It hasn't amounted to tremendously a lot to present. But with doubling times under 15 years, then we get sea level rise, which is probably higher than what ice sheet models are delivering because uh, the ice sheet models still don't have all of the physical processes in them that, that, re that produce what we observe, some really uh, rapid response of land ice uh, to, to climate change. The models are also very challenged by um, not having super precise forcing data, the, the, the future ocean temperatures, the future atmosphere. The, the future projections of, of both of those factors are, are both at too coarse of a, of a horizontal resolution, uh, especially like in the ocean because the, the effect of um, warming ocean on destabilizing ice sheets um, isn't resolved in the ocean models into the future. Um, so for a variety of reasons, the ice sheet models are not really up to the task of projecting sea level. And, and so then we're relying on, okay, the, the observed past. And now that the satellite observations mainly are, are stacking up, we can really have a look at the sea level rate of change, the acceleration, and it uh, games on. And um, this story will only get more interesting because the, the accumulated loss of, of land ice will really start to be noticeable in, in terms of sea level rise.